welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through um, a little bit of VCarve and show you how I set up a project for some Girl Scout ornaments that I made for my daughter's daisy troop. Essentially, I'm going to point out a number of issues that I ran into with this project. Uh, this was my first attempt at doing a two-sided machining uh, effort on the CNC, and there were some things that I did that I wish I would have done differently. And so I want to just kind of point a few of those out for anybody else out there that uh, might be thinking about doing a two-sided uh, project in the future. The research that I did essentially showed me that um, most people use some kind of a, an alignment a pin to line these projects up so that they can flip it over and lock it right back into where it was. Uh, ensuring they have uh, you know very good accuracy that and so i was already drilling uh, a number of holes uh, i just simply had it drill um, the holes deeper into the waste board and that way i could put some pins in and use those pins to to locate the project when i flipped it a couple of things that i would do differently uh, i used the nesting uh, feature of vcarve pro in order to try and minimize the waste uh, that I had so you can see there's a lot of waste here a lot of excess that you know you can't really do anything with and so I, I used that thinking oh that would that would help me with alignment as well because it would space these pieces apart identically that I don't know if that was the problem or not um, but essentially when I flipped these flipped the board over um, they didn't quite align perfectly they weren't off by much, but they were off enough that I noticed right away. It was very clear that they were off. Uh, I believe in the final product that you really can't tell uh, because of the way that I, I manipulated the edge. Um, I used a V-carved bit for this. This is a 60 degree V-carved bit. And the border, I also did a V-carve uh, between these two lines here. Uh, and that really is what saved me on this project because having that bevel on the edge here uh, on both sides allowed me then to take that bevel and essentially round over uh, the outside of the ornament kind of minimizing or disguising um, the fact that they were off by you know maybe a, a couple millimeters needless to say um, let me show you the fronts and the backs of the project. So on one side I had the girls' names and on the other side I placed the troop information. If we go and look at the 3D preview, we can see that if I select the items and we preview that, you can kind of see how it would cut those out, what it would look like. I can double click on that uh, and make it so where you can see uh, you know, part of the project here. Same thing is true if I reset that preview and we go back and we look at the name side. Essentially I did not need to do a drilling operation on the second side. I simply did the names uh, along with the ornament uh, cutout and if we preview that So you can see there that essentially I, I did the same machine on both sides. I did the names on one side. I did the troop information on the other. I drilled the holes. Uh, and then the last, the very last step was actually this ornament, cut, cutting it out itself. Hi, welcome back. So we've got our uh, ornaments all machined and uh, I went ahead and spray painted them uh, green. Uh, for a girl, again, it's a Girl Scout uh, ornament, so I put the troop information on the back, the year, and the girl's name on the front, just like I said before. And um, so I sanded the uh, faces of them off. All right, now we're going to put on uh, the Formby's uh, tongue oil. It's a low gloss uh, version. Hopefully it turns out well. <clears throat> All right, so we just I've got a just an old T-shirt, you know, the rags. Now you can get them either out of your old T-shirt drawer or uh, buy them at a store. Uh, they sell them all over.
All right, we're back. And now we're going to um, finish up our ornament project here by putting on uh, some ribbon. And of course, uh, as they are ornaments and they already have green on them for the fact that they are Girl Scout, we're gonna go with uh, red ribbon. Yeah, we'll go with 10 inches. All right, so all we're gonna do is uh, cut ribbon to uh, 10 inches. All right, we've got our uh, ornaments here and we're gonna get ready to uh, finish them up kind of see how they uh, how they turned out we've got uh, the Girl Scout emblem with the girl's name on one side we've got the uh, troop number and the year and this is a Daisy troop of girls so this is their first year in uh, Girl Scouts and these are our ornaments that we made Okay, here's the final look at the project. We've got all six ornaments complete with their red ribbon, ready to go hang on somebody's tree. I think this turned out really well in the end, uh, even though we had a few difficulties with the machining. Uh, all in all, it would be a project that I would uh, definitely uh, try again. That is a two-sided uh, machining project. Uh, it's something that I will try definitely again, and I encourage, uh, others out there to do the same. Okay, everybody, that uh, wraps it up for uh, another episode of Hanging with Harv. Don't forget, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to my channel, please uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button now and leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought of the project. Thanks a lot. Bye.